A packed house tonight for a special town hall meeting in Southfield where people spoke out about whether to put up a new Walmart in their city. 7 Action News reporter Tom Wade was at the meeting tonight. And Tom, what are people saying about this possible new development? Well, Carolyn, as you can imagine, a lot of very strong opinions about this, and that meeting is still going on tonight. About 70 people went up to the podium, each of them getting five minutes to voice their opinion tonight, so the council still hasn't voted on whether this can happen. At Southfield City Hall tonight, the topic is a new Walmart, and there's not an empty seat in the house. The question for council, whether Walmart should be allowed to buy this now vacant church at the corner of Southfield and 12 Mile and build a new store. The site where the Walmart is proposed, um, with the traffic already uh, in chaos, I think a Walmart store... Uh, wouldn't fit. The traffic issue was the common thread for the night with neighbor after neighbor repeating the same concern. The traffic is already just horrendous and I think it'll only get worse if we decide to zone it B3. But some say the traffic is a small price to pay for new jobs and new revenue. I think we need to revitalize that corner. I think we need new taxes. We need new businesses. Um, People are very hard on Walmart. I, I say, what about, you know, they're not nearly as hard on like Myers or Target or something else. As for traffic, Walmart reps say there won't be a major impact. The study that we conducted utilizes national standards and was concurred with by the Oakland County Road Commission. The 9.4 acre lot is owned by the Archdiocese and has been vacant for about seven years. The church has already agreed to sell the property to Walmart, but the sale can only go through if the Southfield City Council votes to rezone the lot. And my sources inside City Hall tell me it is unlikely that the vote will go in Walmart's favor. But again, this is far from certain. There has been no vote yet. We'll let you know when it happens. Reporting live in Southfield, I'm Tom Wade, 7 Action News. Stephen, back to you. All right, Tom, thank you for the update.